Top 7 Best Studio Subwoofer in 2022 Through extensive research and testing, I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or particular use, we have got you covered. For more information, I have put links of products in the description. Make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 1. Yamaha HS8S the Yamaha HS8S is an 8-inch powered subwoofer that matches the Yamaha HS8 Studio monitors. The HS8S is a ported subwoofer. The port is on the front middle of the enclosure. Even though it is very small, it definitely delivers. It has a frequency range of 22 HZ to 150 HZ, which is plenty for a subwoofer. Around 20 HZ is the very bottom end of the range of human hearing, so you will not be missing much with that 2 HZ loss. The HS8S has been engineered with a 150W amplifier and should have enough power to provide a good amount of sub-frequencies for a small studio or a bedroom studio. The Yamaha HS8S is a good, fairly affordable studio monitor subwoofer. It is small and lightweight, making it good for bedroom studios or small home or professional studios. I would recommend it for those producers who have no previous experience using a subwoofer as it has enough easy-to-use controls to tailor it to your needs and get it set up correctly, and it is not overly complicated to use or very expensive. Number 2. Atom Audio Sub-8 The Atom Audio Sub-8 is an 8.5-inch powered studio subwoofer ideal for smaller studios up to 20 square meters in size. It is a very compact yet powerful subwoofer. The Sub-8 is a sealed subwoofer which means it does not have a port like you usually see on normal studio monitors. The sub-8 extends the frequency range of your near-field studio monitors down to 28 to 30 HC and has a frequency range itself of 28 HC to 150 HC, along with the 8.5-inch woofer. The sub-8 has a 1.5-inch voice coil and is powered by a 160W ICE power amplifier. The ICE power amplifier combines low heat generation with a high performance level, making it great for long studio sessions at high playback volumes. In terms of design, the front panel of the sub has two knobs that allow you to change the input level of the subwoofer and the crossover frequency settings. A wireless remote is also included with the subwoofer, and the input level and crossover frequency settings can be changed with the remote as well if you need to set the sub up and hear everything from a distance rather than close up. Atom Audio uses top quality materials for their high-end monitors and subwoofers, ensuring that you get their award-winning sound at a consistent rate when using their top-rated products. The Sub-8 subwoofer is no exception here, and packs a punch in its compact form without getting boomy in a negative way. Because of the high-quality components of the subwoofer like the paper diaphragm, the Sub-8 is minimally fatiguing on the ears and has low distortion at both low and high volume levels. At high volume levels, it is very powerful and does not start to sound compressed. For the satellite outputs of the sub, a connectable high-pass filter is available for blocking signals below 85 HC should you need to do that. Number 3. Mackie CR-8 SXBT The Mackie CR-8 SXBT is an 8-inch powered subwoofer ideal for studio use and other multimedia purposes, and it is also Bluetooth compatible. The Mackie CR-8 SXBT is great for things like designing a desktop monitoring system for gaming, doing multimedia production projects, casual listening, and of course use in the studio. This subwoofer has a rich tone and definitely can fill in the missing frequencies in your studio monitoring setup and add power and punch without any issues. It has a frequency range of 40 HC to 180 HC, and it has 200 W of power and an 8-inch driver. It features input and output level controls, a crossover frequency control, and also a polarity switch. The CR-8 SXBT also comes with a remote for adjusting the input and output volume levels and the crossover frequency. And since it's also Bluetooth compatible, you can connect all your Bluetooth devices to it which automatically makes any studio monitors you have connected to the subwoofer also Bluetooth compatible. The CR-8 SXBT is not a ported subwoofer. It's sealed, so it is a little less efficient than a ported sub and has ample power for only a small studio or a bedroom. The CR-8 SXBT is the matching subwoofer for the CR-X series of Mackie monitors, so ideally you should use it with the CR-X line of monitors, but if you have different Mackie Studio monitors, you should be able to pair it easily and get a good sound from the combo. Number 4. Behringer Next K10S 
The Behringer Next K10S is a 10-inch powered subwoofer designed by Behringer and the founder of KRK, Keith R. Clowder, who is a master speaker designer. The brainchild of Behringer and Clowder, with the Next K10S subwoofer you get extremely punchy, powerful bass. The K10S has a glass fiber 10-inch speaker and has 180W of power, which is plenty for a small, mid-sized studio. The Next K10S features a variable low-pass filter, and a face switch to help you dial in the response to fit your room and monitoring setup. Focusing on the design, the glass fiber speaker cone is known for having a lot of punch and a really fast transient response, so you can expect punchy lows and a nice transient response from the next K10S subwoofer. The amazing bass response is also thanks to the innovative cabinet design done by Keith Clowder. The curved baffle and dimensions of the front port were designed for extended frequency response in the low end with minimal amounts of distortion. Because of this, you'll be able to make cleaner sounding mixes and better decisions when mixing the low end of your mixes. As I mentioned, there's a low pass filter and a crossover frequency control. The crossover frequency control is labeled for precision when the K10S is paired with Behringer's Next K5, K6, or Keith Studio monitors. Otherwise, you can use your ears to find the right balance between your studio monitors and the K10S if you are using monitors from a different brand. Number 5. Focal Sub-6 The Focal Sub-6 is a really solid, high-quality powered subwoofer. Being a top-end subwoofer, it is more expensive, but it is definitely worth it if you want a great sound quality. The Focal Sub-6 is an 11-inch driver and extends your monitoring down to 30 HD in a linear fashion at any SPL. Sound pressure level with 350W of power, making it powerful enough to be used in a large studio. With the Sub-6, you have a lot of setup flexibility with 2.1, 2.2, or surround LFE configurations. The Focal Sub-6 also features a high-pass crossover, an adjustable face control, and level control to help you achieve the most seamless integration with your studio monitors. The Sub-6 also has a foot switch input to let you a slash be your audio with and without the subwoofer to give you a better idea of your sonic perspective. The Focal Sub-6 gives you enough capability as a giant studio monitor that you might find in a world-class studio with the frequency range of 30HC to 250HC. Focal Solid 6 b and Twin 6 b are ideal monitors for pairing the Sub-6 with. Getting into the design details, Focal uses a composite sandwich cone technology where the cone is made of a layer of glass, then a layer of foam, and another layer of glass. This technology helps to fine-tune mass, rigidity, and damping, which is the basis for sonic neutrality when all are balanced. The 11-inch woofer is fitted with a high excursion system that provides an accurate and extended reproduction of bass. The voice cool design helps to maintain complete control of the driver, even at a high SPL. The magnetic construction offers a symmetrical magnetic field that ensures stable dynamics at the lowest of frequencies. For the amplifier, Focal uses Bash technology to combine the sonic qualities of a Class A B amp circuit with a Class D amp shield characteristics. This ensures that you have an ultra-reliable subwoofer with superior performance. Number 6. KRK-10s The KRK-10s is a ported, powered subwoofer great for any genre. The 10s has a 10-inch glass and error-made composite woofer with a 2-inch voice coil. It is housed in an MDF enclosure and is capable of reproducing frequencies down to 28 HE. It has a frequency range of 28 HE to 156 HE and a frequency response of 30 HE to 110 HE. With the extended range, it will give your work a more professional finish and help audio to translate well on any listening system. The KRK-10S is powered by a 160-watt Class D amplifier capable of producing up to 117 dB of defined bass frequencies. On the back panel of the KRK-10s, there are controls for an adjustable crossover frequency point, a sensitivity switch, a polarity switch, and a ground switch. These tools allow you to easily fine-tune the setup of the subwoofer to ensure that you have an ideal setup for your mixing environment as well as a seamless integration with your studio monitors. The TENS is best used with KRK Rocket monitors and VXD monitors as a matching subwoofer. In addition to these features, the TENS also comes with a foot switch input for bypassing the sub when monitoring for easiest slash being. The TENS is just a really great professional or home studio subwoofer. It provides clean, tight bass with little to no distortion, even at high SBL. And you get better translation between listening systems in a way that makes your mixes sound full and immersive without being too muddy or overly pronounced. 
Number 7. JBLL SR310S The JBLL SR310S is a powered studio subwoofer designed to be used with JBLL SR Active Studio Monitors. The LSR310S takes the load off of your near-field monitors, producing tight and focused bass to help you get a balanced three-way sound. The JBLL SR310S sports a 10-inch down-firing driver that bottoms out at 27HC. The frequency response range is from 27HC to 130HC. The LSR310S features a selectable crossover that includes JBL XLF, Extended low frequency setting which gives you plenty of flexibility when setting up your subwoofer and tailoring it to your mixing environment. The LSR310S is a ported subwoofer and uses JBL Slipstream port for a tight and focused bass response at any volume. The Slipstream port is a double flared port shape that reduces turbulence and enables you to have an accurate bass response at any volume. The LSR310S is powered by a 200W class DM. When the XLF setting is activated, you get a club-like response that helps to tailor the bass volume and frequencies. A level control is also featured to adjust the subwoofer output volume. The JBLL SR310S is the perfect recording studio subwoofer for a mid-sized studio and has all the latest technology from JBL. I would recommend it for producers of any skill level. So guys, that's all for the top 7 studio subwoofer in 2022. The links of all products are given in the description, which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will meet in next video till then take care bye.